Okay, so modal verbs, they're quite common in English, quite consistently used as well. You could almost put them into any sentence and it'll still make sense. You should learn these things. I couldn't learn these things. You can, you can learn these things. So we talk about possibilities, things that may happen. Things may happen. It's possible. I might. It, it's a possibility. We, we could go to Spain. We could go to Spain or we could go to Mexico. I could learn French or I could keep learning Spanish. And obligations. Things need to happen. Things need to happen. I, I need, oh, I should, I should record this lesson. You should learn modal verbs. We ought to pay attention. Pay attention. We ought to pay attention. And deductions, like understanding what happened. Understanding what happened. Understanding what happened. I must have written on the board. There's all this ink. She must have left the house. The door is locked. They must have left already. I can't see them. They should have gone by now. Because it's... The train leaves ten minutes. In ten minutes. They need to. They should. They need to. They should. They ought to. They ought to have started already. They have ten minutes left. So some uncommon ones are can. I can. I can. I can learn English. I can learn English. Possibility, what we can do. May. May I? May I take your coat? May I tell you the answer? May I come with you? May I? May I? May I? Uh, um, open the door for you. For you. May I open the door for you? May I open the door for you? It's an obligation. It needs to happen. So may I do it for you? And could. She. She could. Have. Told them. The answer. Yeah. She could have told them the answer. Maybe. Because how else do they know the answer? Only she knows the answer. So maybe she could have told them. Hmm. Deducing. Understanding what happened, maybe, hmm, hmm, possibility, yeah, yeah. So modal verbs, common in English, they express possibilities, obligations and deductions. Let's keep going.